Brad, uh, here's the engine running. I'm gonna grab the light here. I, I don't have anybody to assist, so bear with me here. It's uh, night outside here. Here's the uh, engine running. See the pulleys are pretty straight. No wobble there. Here's the electric fan. It hasn't uh, heated up enough to kick on yet. You'll see there's a little coolant residue. That's from when I replaced the heater core. Uh, no active leaks or anything. I'll clean that up. Got power uh, brakes right there. Down here, in between the headers and the power steering lines. Right below it's the new power steering box I put in. That's from a uh, later generation Camaro, so the steering's a lot tighter and kind of feels more like a newer car than an older car. This electric fan is set to come on at about 210 degrees to shut off at about 190. We'll see if uh, we go long enough for it to uh, heat up enough to come on. It'll block the uh, air cleaner, quadrant and car underneath. 160 amp alternator, puts out plenty of power if you want to do like a sound system or whatnot. Uh, fuel filter, mechanical fuel pump. Radiator cap. It's all uh, electronic ignition, HEI, MSD wires. You can see right there that's the electric choke and where the electric choke would go. I've got to replace the uh, spring. I think I found a new one. And, uh, then the electric choke shouldn't be a problem anymore. Here's also an auxiliary uh, battery hookup for if you want to run, uh, you know, like a, a dedicated sound system with some on amp stuff, a lot of people like to do that. Myself, I'm more into the uh, noise of the engine in the car than the big uh, pumping radio. I switch lights here for a second so I can see what temperature the car's at inside. Let's get my thing on hook. Flashlight here. Temperature's at uh, 190, as you can see. We've got uh, about 35 pounds of oil pressure at idle, which is pretty good. You can see it's charging at 13 volts there. Got your uh, heater and fan controls there. You probably won't be able to hear it, but if I turn on the uh, blower, you got uh, hot air that blows out from under there and then on the sides, or up at the uh, in the defrost vent up there. Shut that off here for you. It's probably going to take a while for it to heat up to have that fan come on. Um, I could shoot another video of the fan coming on if you'd like, uh, but I, I promise you it works just fine. And I don't know what temperatures you get over there, but we get up to about 95 here, maybe 100 on a really hot day in the summer. And sitting in traffic in, in summer temperatures, which is generally the, the period where your car's going to overheat, the, no issues with that. This fan moves a lot of air and keeps this engine very, very cool. There's also an auxiliary cooler right here for the transmission to keep the transmission cool on those uh, warm summer days as well. So let me grab the other light real quick and give you one more good view of the engine running. I apologize, my garage lighting is not the best here. Power steering, water pump. Give you a little rev here real quick and set the light down and uh, Alrighty, 
Well, let me know if you have any more questions.